It's the best one, DBTV here, back with a brand new video! You're not a best one yet? Hit that subscribe button now, turn on post notifications, because you already know the grind is real. And it's official! It is finally, finally official! Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, DeAndre Jordan are going to the Brooklyn Nets! I have been waiting for this moment for so freaking long. You don't understand how much hell we have been through as Brooklyn Net fans, okay? I'm talking to the real fans, not those D'Angelo Russell bandwagon fans out there. I'm not talking about freaking those delusional freaking Brooklyn Net fans out there now that are gonna be, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is, they don't understand the pain we have went through for all these years. And finally, something goes right. And if you all don't think Sean Marks is the best GM in the NBA, then you are delusional as fuck. Sean Marks is a god. Sean Marks has turned shit, literally shit, into assets. You guys probably didn't know who Spencer Dinwiddie was. You probably didn't know who Karis LeVert was. You probably didn't know who Jared Allen was. You probably did not know who freaking who Joe Harris was. But now, Sean Marks has turned low players into high players. Sean Marks sees talent from a different level. And we turned D'Angelo Russell's career around because now he's going to be getting that freaking max contract somewhere else. And no matter what, D'Angelo Russell, thank you for everything you have done for Brooklyn. I will say it. Thank you because you really gave this team light. And if it wasn't for you, D'Angelo Russell, and what you did for this organization, we would not be in this situation right now with guys like Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant joining this team. So I will be the first to say it as a real Brooklyn Nets fan. Thank you, D'Angelo Russell. I will be supporting you wherever you go, no matter what. You were always one of my favorite players in that draft class. All right? But now, the Brooklyn Nets took this whole situation to a whole nother level. And if people are saying, oh, this is the same thing as Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce and like four draft picks fucking getting rid of fucking this is gonna be one of the worst fucking moves in NBA history ah guess what those guys were way past their prime let's be real Kevin Garnett was like 40 years old and Paul Pierce was like 36 okay and remember at that time Brooke Lopez was hurt too okay but that's beside the point it was one of the worst trades in NBA history we had to get rid of our future for so long and it was so much hell and you guys know it if you've been a fan of mine for the longest time. That I have been through hell back and forth for this organization. And now, guess what? I'm going to be smiling when all these bandwagons come across the Brooklyn Bridge. That is damn right. The Brooklyn Nets are going to the NBA championship. Even with KD getting this injury healed up. For the first year, we're still going to the NBA championship and we are going to win a ring. Okay? There's no team out there that's built better than the Brooklyn Red Nets right now. But then we're gonna have all the LeBron fans, the Lakers, delusional fucks going on here saying, oh my god, but we got LeBron and Anthony Davis and we're gonna get D'Angelo Russell now and we're gonna have a bunch of shit and we're still gonna beat your Brooklyn Nets. No, you're not! Because the difference between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets is we have a culture. We have established a culture in Brooklyn. And that is why Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant signed on that dotted line that they're going to the Brooklyn Nets. I have been here since day one wearing this hat. I have been here crying. I have been here raging. But now I got a smile on my face because finally nobody can talk shit about the Brooklyn Nets anymore. 
because Sean Marks, you really turned this team into something very, very special that I am proud to be a part of, okay? And now to all the bandwagon fans out there, stay away. Go to Madison Square Gardens, okay, where you thought KD and Kyrie were going. Those Golden State bandwagon fans now that KD has left, you guys could stay by the bay. Because now, all you guys are gonna come across the bridge and you guys are gonna be singing, Brooklyn, we go hard. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. This is better than when I lost my virginity. All right, I have been through hell back and forth for this organization, okay? Everybody around me knows it, but now I'm the one standing on top and it feels fucking great. And now we are going to win an NBA championship and it will happen. A dynasty is being made in Brooklyn, okay? Lakers, you can build your super teams and do whatever the hell because guess what? Super teams don't win you games. It's cultures out there that win you freaking championships. All right? That is why the Toronto Raptors won the championship this year because they had a culture. That is why the Warriors won championships for a few years because they had a good culture. But then they tried signing DeMarcus Cousins and making a super team and all that bullshit even though injuries did play a factor in that. But still, it's a culture that wins you championships, okay? The San Antonio Spurs, why do you think Tim Duncan has five rings? Why do you think Kobe Bryant has five rings? Why do you think Michael Jordan has six rings? Why do you think Bill Russell has freaking like 10 or 11 of them? Because it's all about a culture. And that is the difference between Brooklyn Nets right now and all these other teams in the NBA. We have a special culture. What bench is getting hyped during every play? I can't, I can't think of a team except for the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nation, stand the fuck up because we go hard. We are going to the NBA Finals. It is confirmed. All right, you heard this shit first. The Brooklyn Nets are going to the NBA Finals and it is confirmed, okay? And if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan right now that has been through hell back and forth with me through this whole ride, smash that motherfucking like button because I know you guys aren't hating on this move. If you're not a best one yet, hit that subscribe button now. Turn on them post notifications because free agency just started great. And I can't wait to find out what all these other teams are going to do to try to compete against the Brooklyn Nets because they don't have what it takes to beat the Brooklyn Nets. I guarantee you, it will be the Lakers versus the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals. It's confirmed. Okay? Let's be real. It's going to happen. All right? And then KD's going to prove why he is better than LeBron James. Now I'm a KD fan. Links down in the description below. Follow me on my social medias. Subscribe to my other channel, Best One Network. Gotta plug that because that's where I've been lately. But to all the best ones out there worldwide, Brooklyn Nets Nation, stand up. We go hard. And guess what? We are taking over the NBA now. A new dynasty has been born. Thank you, Sean Marks. Thank you, Brooklyn Nets organization. Because Best One Nation, we're taking over. Peace.